Hey everybody, how's it going? Scott Sprites are here, DocSports.com, with our look ahead to Tuesday, December 8, 2020. Free college basketball play coming up between the Buckeyes and Notre Dame on this report. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. All right, uh, free pick in just a moment, college basketball, I'm not involved in the NFL. NFL uh, makeup game, so to speak. Uh, Ravens right now, as I look at all the uh, books, are basically an eight-point favorite for the most part, total around 45. And uh, right now, you're looking at about 60% of the tickets coming in on Baltimore as of about 5 a.m. Eastern time on Tuesday morning. So just an uh, update there on the betting. Uh, again, I'm not involved in this game between the Cowboys and Ravens. I am involved in college basketball, and uh, we've got the marquee matchup as far as I'm concerned. It's Illinois taking on Duke at Cameron Indoor. And uh, we're going to look to go to 9-1 and one with the last 10 college basketball sides. We are up over $3,000 during this current run. We've been basically going going one to two college basketball plays per day. And we're just letting all these teams work out their issues with the weird schedule, the late start, COVID, all that kind of stuff. No home court advantage when it comes to crowds and things of that nature. And uh, so we've been playing it conservative and we're off to a great start. I hope you've been with me. I do think those who have been so thus far. Now, as far as what happened on Monday and Sunday, we did cash and swept our elite level plays this weekend in football. We had a six star on Colorado on Saturday, came back with a seven star play on the Jets in Sunday's NFL. I lost on Monday in the NFL, uh, but we were able to make a unit of profit for those who have bought all the sports because I did have one soccer play on Monday and we did it again. We cashed another big dog price plus a buck 90 on Southampton getting the win over Brighton and Hove. So I've had this terrific soccer run, and because of that play, uh, we were able to make a small profit despite losing in the NFL on Monday. <clears throat> but we've got a lot going on on Tuesday. I've got the Illinois Duke game over on my handicappers homepage. page. We'll look to go to nine and one uh, with the last 10 college basketball sides. I am involved in a UEFA Champions League soccer afternoon action on Tuesday. That's over at DocSports.com, all available on my handicappers homepage. And if things go right with COVID and everything else that we've been dealing with in 2020, I'm going to have an eight star play going in the NFL this coming weekend. And we'll tell you whether we're not, whether we are or not uh, over the next few days. I want to see how COVID goes, practice practices, all that kind of stuff, but we have a game that uh, we really like the way it was set up with the way games have gone the last couple of weeks, and uh, we will have an eight-star potentially, and I'll, again, I'll let you know more about that over the next couple of days on these videos. Uh, we did it that eight-star in college football, only one of the season. That was Iowa laying less than a touchdown to Michigan State, nice 49-7 to winner by the Hawkeyes, so we'll look to go to 2-0 and with these plays on the season. All right, so that's what's going on for me Tuesday and beyond uh, over at DocSports.com. Let's get to the free play. Looking at all the lines right now, the Buckeyes laying five as we speak. Total 140 on the road in South Bend taking on Notre Dame. Uh, and as far as this game is concerned, I think this line is quite fair if you like the Buckeyes here. You know, the thing about these two teams, one of the biggest differences is that Ohio State plays a nasty brand of defense. Notre Dame's not quite there yet, but it's not just that. It's that Notre Dame has no depth. I mean, they're playing their starters 30 minutes or more. Uh, three of their five starters and basically see it almost every minute. And Ohio State is pretty deep. You know, I've got Ohio State, by the way, in my top 25 in my power ratings. I've got the Irish in the bottom four in the ACC. So that gives you kind of an idea of where I stand right now. Now, bottom four in the ACC isn't like bottom four in the Mountain West, but you get it. Uh, it just kind of gives you a gauge of where I'm at. But I like what Ohio State's doing in the backcourt. And when I look at Notre Dame, they're one, I guess, unit, if you will, where I can give them a B, maybe even a B plus is the backcourt. But other than that, man, again, the depth is C minus at best. I'm not crazy about the front court, and I think the Buckeyes have the tools to get the job done. And if it's close at halftime, I think because of that lack of depth that Ohio State will be able to move away with their strong defensive play in the second half of this game. So a recommendation, opinion, is the Ohio State Buckeyes minus the points over Notre Dame in Tuesday basketball action. All right, don't forget we've got Illinois Duke as we look to go to 9-1 and one with our college basketball premium sides over on my uh, homepage at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Tuesday in the win column.